A small town in the mountains, a hundred kilometers north of Tokyo, Nikko has been a site of religious importance for over 1200 years. It was developed by a Buddhist monk as a site of mountain worship surrounding the three local sacred mountains, Mount Nantai, Mount Nyoho, and Mount Taro. In the 1600s, Nikko became even more prominent when it was selected as the site of Nikko Toshogu, which ranks among the most celebrated shrines in the country. The shrine is dedicated to the spirit of one of the most important figures in Japanese history, Tokugawa Ieyasu, who moved the political center in the early 1600s from Kyoto to Edo, today's Tokyo, and founded the Tokugawa Shogunate, which would control Japan for over 250 years until the 1860s. In the mountains behind the town center of Nikko lies the Okuniko region, which is part of the Nikko National Park, a beautiful mountainous landscape of lakes, forests, marshlands, waterfalls, and hot springs. During the month of October, Nikko turns into one of the country's most beautiful spots with spectacular autumn colors. Probably Nikko's most famous local speciality is yuba, or tofu skin, the thin layer of tofu that forms when boiling soy milk. Often sold in its dried form, yuba has long been used by the local monks as a high-protein vegetarian food that can be easily stored during the area's long winters. Nikko is most easily reached by direct Tobu railway trains from Asakusa Station in Tokyo, but it can also be reached by JR via Utsunomiya. While it is possible to fit in as a day trip, an overnight trip is recommended to see both the shrines and temples in the town and the natural attractions in the Okuniko area. Public transportation inside Nikko is also excellent thanks to a convenient bus network and various easy to use passes are available for visiting tourists. With many historical sites and lots of beautiful scenery to explore, here are our top five recommendations around Nikko. Number five. Tamazawa Imperial Villa. One of the area's lesser known spots, this former summer residence was constructed in 1899 as a retreat for the imperial family, not far from Nikko's shrines and temples. It is one of the largest wooden villas in Japan and is an intriguing blend of traditional Japanese and Western elements. Today, the villa serves as a museum and memorial park and is well equipped with multilingual displays for visitors exploring its 106 different rooms. Besides the mansion's interior, visitors can enjoy a Japanese-style garden where a 400-year-old weeping cherry tree blossoms spectacularly around mid-April, and maple trees display vibrant colors usually around late October and early November. Number 4. Kagon Falls One of several spectacular waterfalls in the Okuniko area, the 100-meter-tall Kagon Falls makes it onto Japan's top three besides the Nachi Falls in Wakayama Prefecture and the Hukuroda Falls in Ibaraki Prefecture. The Kagon Falls can be seen from multiple perspectives, from a free observation deck overlooking the falls, from a paid platform with three different decks accessed via a 100-meter elevator at the base of the falls, and from the more distant Akechidaira observation deck. This is accessed by ropeway and offers spectacular views of the falls, Lake Chuzenjiko, and the surrounding landscape. In winter, the waterfall sometimes freezes solid, which makes for a truly spectacular view. Number 3. Senjogahara Hiking Course Nikko has a great many beautiful hiking trails, and one of the most rewarding is the Senjogahara Hiking Course connecting the Ryuzu Waterfall near the shores of Lake Chuzenjiko with the town of Yumoto Onsen via the Senjogahara Marshland. The roughly 6km walk takes around 2.5 to 3 hours to complete and requires no advanced hiking skills, although proper hiking shoes are definitely a good idea. It is also possible to walk shorter sections of the trail by using the bus, which serves multiple stops along the hiking trail. The trail starts at the Ryuzu or Dragonhead Waterfall, said to resemble the head of a dragon, and continues through the beautiful Senjogahara marshland on a raised wooden path to protect the environment. In winter when there is snow, adventurous travelers can explore the marshland on snowshoes or cross-country skis available for rent at a couple of rest houses at the Sambon Matsu parking lot. Another highlight along the trail is the Yudaki or Hot Water Waterfall, where the Yukawa or Hot Water River plunges down a 70-meter drop shortly after flowing out of Lake Yunoko, meaning Hot Water Lake. Note that none of these bodies of water are actually hot, but tired hikers will find several hot spring sources at Yumoto Onsen, the small hot spring town at the end of the trail. 
Number two, Rinnoji Temple. Rinnoji is the oldest and most important temple in Nikko, founded by the monk who discovered Nikko in the 8th century. It is devoted to the area's three sacred mountains, which in the temple's main hall are represented by three gold lacquered wooden statues of an Amida Buddha and two Kanon Bodhisattva. Don't miss the temple's garden, Shoyoen, located across from Rinnoji's main hall. The beautiful garden features a central pond and can be enjoyed from a circular walking path. With its many maple trees standing photogenically around the pond, the garden is a popular site for viewing autumn colours, typically from around late October to early November. Number 1. Toshogu Japan's most opulent shrine, Nikko Toshogu, is devoted to the spirit of Tokugawa Ieyasu, the founder of the Tokugawa shogunate, which ruled Japan from 1603 to 1868. Ieyasu had over 20 children and was succeeded by his son Hidetada. When his son Iemitsu became the third Tokugawa shogun, he built this beautiful shrine as a mausoleum to his grandfather, covering many of its buildings in colourful and exquisitely detailed carvings that can still be seen today. When entering the shrine grounds, visitors first encounter a group of storehouses whose elaborate decorations include a famous image of the three wise monkeys, Mizaru, Kikazaru and Iwazaru, who see, hear and speak no evil. Close by is the carving of the Suzonozo, or imagined elephants, carved by an artist who had famously never seen one in real life. Visitors will then pass through the Yomeimon Gate, possibly Japan's most heavily decorated structure, displaying hundreds of colourful carvings. Past the Yomeimon, visitors will encounter the shrine's main buildings, consisting of the prayer hall, connected to the main hall, where the shrine's deities reside. Note that besides Ieyasu, two more of Japan's most influential leaders, Toyotomi Hideyoshi and Minamoto Yoritomo, are also enshrined here. Beyond the main halls, a flight of stairs leads further up the forested slope to Ieyasu's mausoleum. Before climbing up the stairs, don't miss the small but highly popular carving of the sleeping cat or Nemuri Neko above a gate. On the gate's opposite side is another carving of a sparrow. Together, they are thought to symbolize the harmony of the Tokugawa government. The path up to the mausoleum takes about five minutes, after which visitors will meet the relatively subtle and austere, yet dignified structure. The Toshogu Shrine can get very busy. For those who don't like crowds, note that Taiyuin, the mausoleum of Ieyasu's grandson, Iemitsu, is just a short walk away. Out of modesty, this was built in a slightly less grand way than Toshogu, but is still spectacular and comes with less crowds. We hope this top 5 list gives you a good place to start when planning your trip to Nikko. For more information or to watch another video, click the links on the screen now or head over to japanguide.com, your comprehensive, up-to-date travel guide first-hand from Japan. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos about Japan. Happy travels!